Hello, hello, hello. My name is Timberlisha and welcome to Study with Caesar. So on today's video, I will be giving you some last minute study tips for exams. Um, I know prelims are coming up and this is applicable to you if you are writing prelims. But if you're about to write any exam right now, it is applicable to you so definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed because i'm definitely going to be giving you content that you will need so hit the subscribe button so first study tip i have is asking questions asking questions is so important if you are currently still going to classes you have extra lessons or you have access to your teacher this is your time to ask the most questions ask a ton of questions you need answers and while you are studying probably jot down the questions you have and go ask your teacher ask your friends get answers to the questions that you have and the reason why i say this is that asking questions is a way to actively recall and and, and a way to actively study um, so when you are studying and going through a lot of material um, write down what questions you have on the side that will definitely help you grasp what's going on. You cannot be going to classes without asking any questions. Secondly, doing past papers. Oh my gosh, guys. So listen, they regurgitate questions. These questions repeat themselves. They say them in another way, something, something. There's always something happening there with questions. Um, and there's only so many questions that they can ask because the content has been the same. For years now so I would like to encourage you that at least do five past papers before you enter the exam room for each exam you can't be going into the exam room without having practiced the past paper this is a sure way to improve your marks you will get better marks if you do more past papers when you do a past paper make sure to do it under exam conditions now why do i say this because it helps you with the pressure the time pressure that you feel in the actual exam if you're able to do a question faster now because you've practiced the past paper that is a bonus because one of the things learners struggle with is the fact of time it's a matter of time so practicing past papers actually makes you faster when it comes to answering the questions and you sort of understand how they will be asking you questions tip number three is sacrifice 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 oh my gosh guys you need to sacrifice um, certain things that you love doing and it's really for the greater goal it's for the greater good you are not planning to do my trick again so this is your time that you'll need to sacrifice it's just a short amount of time which will it's just a few weeks which you'll need to sacrifice for the greater good to get into the varsity you want to go into the career that you want to go into to finish my trick just to pass my trick so you'll just need to sacrifice so avoid your avoid distractions such as your phone such as watching netflix tv even friends like social life you might just need to sacrifice cut down on it just for this exam period and just focus on your exam i used to legit give my phone to my mom and say mommy hold this i'm studying for the next four hours make sure i don't touch my phone if you are gonna go on social media do something productive and give yourself a time limit you know do something productive like go on the caesar page and just like look at more study tips anyways um or just make sure you're not wasting your time though um that's the important but that's the important part um, the next tip i have is get enough sleep we <laughs> I, I know i said you need to sacrifice but don't sacrifice on your sleep um sleep is very important um when they say do you know where the danger is what they mean is sleep um because i know i have had experience in varsity where i didn't sleep before an exam um on two hours of sleep and coffee i decided to go into the exam room and literally my brain freezed nothing worked um and i was like remember 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 and my brain was like no we're not doing this <laughs> so it's a very important to make sure you get at least six hours of sleep before your exam and the reason why i say that is because getting enough rest um helps your brain to be able to focus 
during the exam. It will also help you to recall information, will help your memory to retrieve all the information that you need to write on that exam paper. So make sure you are getting enough sleep. The last tip I have is that you need to stay positive. Your mind plays a big role in how you perform in this exam. So make sure that you walk in there with a positive mindset. Um, make sure that you walk in there with confidence. It will really help you um, when you're writing that exam so that you don't panic, you're not too anxious. So stay away from anything negative or any people who are negative. I know for a fact that before I used to write exams, I used to stay far away from people and just walk in with them when we're going into the exam venue because I didn't want to um, engage in the whole chatting before the exam because that used to make me panic. Um, and if someone says something and I don't remember the answer or ask something, um, I ended up panicking and then feeling overwhelmed. Um, and I was just trying to like maintain my energy, contain my energy, just to have the positive energy so that when I entered the exam room, I then just took a deep breath, said a little prayer and wrote my exam so that my mind can just be focused one way. There mustn't be a lot of things happening. So definitely stay positive. Um, whatever it is that will help you to stay positive, do that. That is very important. Anyways, so those are my tips for everyone writing prelims right now. All the best. Good luck. Definitely make sure to subscribe, 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 like this video and share it guys. Sharing is caring. So please make sure to share it with your friends, share it on your statuses. Let people know about the tips that I'm giving out there and follow us on all our social media pages.